morning. Beautiful morning for a run. Thought I would video today. Uh, not actually sure what I'm gonna film. Um, I might do my favorite post-run breakfast. Um, just felt like I haven't had the inspiration to pick up my camera since I did the ultra. So I guess today is as good a day as any. And I'm going for a run probably about 10K. So I'll maybe film some more of that too. This is definitely my favorite 10K running route at the moment. I just love seeing all the fields and the little boats out at sea and this time of the morning, in my opinion. Actually a little late, I left at half seven, so normally I run a lot earlier. Almost halfway through my run, I think, and it's such a quiet, nice morning. Feels like it might rain, but it might also get nicer. This is just the best time of year in Scotland to run. It's coolish in the mornings. Hey, let's be honest, coolish all day. Um, but just beautiful. Long grass, green trees, calm seas. Just giving you a little insight into my daily run. That is me, finished my run for the day. Walking back to the house. So what I was gonna talk about was that if you are maybe relatively newer to running or you're just starting to do longer distances, something I find really helps me um, get in the zone and kind of really enjoy my runs is listening to podcasts. And I have a couple, two or three, series that I listen to all the time that I absolutely love and um, doesn't matter which one I listen to I always enjoy it some are a bit more resonant is that the word than others but um how to fail is one of them with Elizabeth Day I've talked about this before I actually recorded my own feelings the second one is um I can't remember is it live better live Anyway, it's Dr. Ranjan Chatterjee. His are brilliant. And sometimes I listen to nutrition podcasts with re -trition. And what other ones do I have? Those are really my favorites. Oh, um, Rich Roll. He has some amazing podcasts as well. Interviews really interesting people on like health and wellness, sport. Yeah, so just an idea for anyone who's maybe finds running can be feel quite long or gets fed up and but wants to run longer distances really helps anyway I'm nearly home now another little tip before I forget is that if you find you get dehydrated or really thirsty I always have a glass of water before I leave the house and I when it's a warm day take hydration not just water so a mix of electrolytes in my water bottle and I use the Arbonne hydration um, which I find works really well for me and yeah Good morning everyone. So it's actually the next day today. When I got back yesterday, the kids were having their breakfast. All became a bit of a let's all eat quickly and I ended up just sitting down with them and I had um, a bagel with peanut butter and chopped banana, which is kind of one of my standard quick when I'm in that kids need breakfast, I need breakfast. I just love a bagel. It's super quick. Add some banana, add some peanut butter, add a bit of yogurt and it just does me as a quick breakfast after a run. 
I failed to film that, but I have been for a run again this morning, a much shorter one, and I'm actually making oat pulp bread. I'm making my own refillable oat and almond milk, and with the leftover pulp, I just pop it in the fridge, and then when I've got time to make some bread, I add flour, baking powder, and whatever I fancy. And I've got some of that in the oven. So I thought that would be more interesting to film. And it is also a breakfast I would have after a run. As I said, I went for a short three mile run this morning. So when that comes out of the oven, I'm gonna have that. I'm also gonna make myself a almond milk coffee with my own homemade almond milk. So let me just see, put that here. So I'm gonna make it with my own homemade almond milk. Um, I love this stuff, it is so creamy and it doesn't taste anything like the almond milk you buy in the shops. I don't like, have, well, I've never really liked almond milk other than the plenish one, which is really nice and smooth. But um, since I've started making my own, I really love it. And yeah, I mean, look at that. That is, that is freshly made this morning. I just made it 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee with that and um, wait for my oat bread to be ready. And I just pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds and then under the coffee machine. So this is the coffee I'm using at the moment, which is just a Sainsbury's one. It is a fair trade coffee. It's got a really mild taste, um, but I do really want to try some more Scottish coffees and support local brands. I am gonna try and do that. It's just all these things, one step at a time. Um, I've got some recommendations that I got last time I asked, so I am gonna search for a brand I do like. I do like the Dear Green coffee. I've tried that quite a few times and I sometimes buy that, but just pure laziness because Sainsbury's is so close. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using today. Look at that froth. So I like my coffee a bit like a flat white. Um, I basically put about 100 mils of milk, roughly, and heat that up. And then I don't usually completely fill the cup um, with coffee. So it's kind of like milky, but quite strong. That's how I like it. It is honestly so creamy and sorry, it's quite hot. <laughs> For someone who would never have put almond milk in their coffee, I feel like I am, I've changed just because it just tastes so different when you make it from fresh almonds. Um, and the percentage is obviously a lot higher than if you bought it, which is probably like 2% almonds. And I think mine works out about 10% um, with a bit of cashews too for creaminess. So cheers. My little oat and almond pulp loaf is out of the oven. I keep taking it out too soon, so I'm um, hoping that it's done. I, I put it in for about 35 minutes, but it's quite um, a thick one, as you can see. So I've almost finished my coffee, actually. It's taken so the long. Moment, so the moment of truth. So let's see what this is like inside. Oh, that looks pretty good. Look at that. I'm gonna give it a wee try. Cut the end off. Mmm. Not bad. Delicious. And I've got some of this. This is my favorite vegan spread. It is honestly the best one. If you haven't tried it, it's called Naturally. Um, so good. So I'm just gonna put a bit of that on. I've got some banana, so I'm gonna have that. So this would be like one of my go-to breakfasts if I've got time after a run. I just really like to have bread or some kind of like carby thing after a run. I really like a bagel, as I said, super quick, you know, no hassle, just pop it in the toaster and um, 
have it with peanut butter and banana and banana um or i would have about i don't know depending how hungry i am several slices of this bread oh that is good there's nothing like fresh bread and especially when it's so full of so full of like goodness there's ground almonds cashews coconut oats oat flour spelt flour a bit of date syrup and if i'd gone for a longer run i'm usually more hungry which obviously because i've exerted myself more I usually add a protein smoothie as well. So I would maybe have a bagel with a protein smoothie or I'd maybe have some yogurt with my bagel. Um, also like this bread, I would just dollop, I don't have any yogurt, so I don't have any to put on, but I would dollop some on top or dip it in. A protein smoothie full of like, I like to get loads of greens because throughout the day you just forget. But I think anything that refuels and within that 30 to 60 minute window after your exercise, and again, there's a whole topic around whether you do exercise. Some people like to exercise fasted. What's happening? Some people like to exercise um, having eaten. It varies for me as well. And like, I couldn't say one way or the other, but like for a short run and I'm leaving first thing in the morning, I generally wouldn't tend to eat because I wouldn't really have time for it to digest. Sorry, it's very hard to eat and um, talk, so I'm gonna have some more of this. Oh, I just love it. Warm bread, look at that steam. Look at that steam, I mean. Mm. Quite a small loaf. I could probably devour most of that after I've been for a run, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, so sometimes I run fasted and sometimes I run with fuel it depends a on how long I'm running and b what time I'm running I really just couldn't describe because it's always different but as I said this morning I only did a three mile run I left first thing so all I had was a coffee and uh always 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 have like a good pint of water I had a coffee and a pint of water ran my three miles came back this is a bit later than 30 minutes since I went for my run, um, obviously I had to cook the bread and all of that. I wouldn't normally faff around. I would have it chopped and stuff in the fridge, in a um, keep it in a Tupperware, um, or I would have a bagel because normally I do try and stick to that window where your muscles are repairing and they need fuel. And also you've used energy, so you need to replace it. So yeah, I don't know if this is helpful. I'm not an expert or a nutritionist. This is just what works for me. But this is like my ideal post-run breakfast. It would be like a good few chunks of this bread with some peanut butter, um, yogurt, banana, bit of date syrup, all of that. I just, I just love that. That's like my ideal. And I've got carbs, I've got protein, I've got um, a bit of fat in there. It's just, yeah, for me, it's the ideal post-run breakfast but I would also add in some greens with a smoothie or um, maybe have a bit more fruit into it so yeah I hope that was of interest I'm gonna go and have some more of this bread which I'm dying to eat but I can't talk and eat at the same time and um, so yeah hope that was of interest I'm gonna try and do some more running content it's something that I really enjoy doing and a few people have asked me I might do like a day of eating or um, like varying depending on how much exercise I'm doing because um, my appetite definitely varies depending on how much exercise I'm doing and how much running I'm doing. So yeah, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I, I'm going to keep doing more running content and food content because I really love that. So hope you're all doing well. Have a great day and I'll see you all soon.